the next match after that. So it's Xiao Chen. Okay. Silver Zhi. Uh, all right, white yeah, paper. Yeah, yeah. Can, can I say silver juice white or paper? Too? Yeah, yeah. White, white paper, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, okay, uh, three, two, one. Okay, we're now at the second game, and this is Dofi Survivor versus MRC's Hunter. And yeah, this will be interesting because Dofi Survivors this season they, they have to reassemble, and their and their performance is not that well this season, as considering they, they're like the bottom two Survivor teams in terms of like the points. So so yeah, they definitely have to step their game up, up right now. And yep, oh, precious psychologist, and being chosen, barmaid being banned. Interesting here though. I think they are expecting another dream witch play yeah. because we just saw Dongshun's dream witch, and yeah. I think um, Xiao Chen coming in with dream witch is definitely a very logical yeah. option. And of course, uh, Silver G, like you know, they call him White Paper, yeah. our new survivor, together with Nan. And the uh, and the old players are Ihua and Zyj. Yeah, because here's the thing: is that those five survivors have a bit of a resemblance because last season they have they had Upsi and Bobo, but Upsi left the team after winning, and and Bobo is Bobo did not appear. So so it did a sort of, of a new combination from those five and old oh, mercenary prospector, psychologist, and priestess. This is something new because one thing with Dofa this season is that they, t they they did not exactly follow the meta like all other teams are using Dancer and Prospector and they never chose it chose it until like recently so so yeah this is it's, it's like interesting to see Dofa finally following the meta instead of playing their coordinator and, and bomber trick that they like the most. Yeah, actually, that's a very good um, observation, John, from your side. I didn't notice at all. But on this, on the same side, you see the bands also Acrobat, Seer, and Barmaid. Do you think that is most likely also to be a Dreamwitch from Xiao Cheng? Yeah, because Xiao Cheng also plays Dreamwitch first in BO1. Like both Xiao Cheng and and Dongix are are both w well known Dreamwitch old Dreamwitch players. So it's not surprising seeing seeing surprise surprise a Dreamwitch and and like um and the thing is that. Dofa and MRC are not called sister teams for no reason because, because like they they're very close with each other. And as I mentioned, Xiao Cheng and Dong X both play similar characters. Yes, they're both very similar, but at the same time, the survivors one is totally different. Sometimes they have their own style. Yeah. So we'll see what is gonna be the persona. Since the last one, there were two flywheels and two tight turners. Do you think there will be also two flywheels here and two tight turners as well? Well, actually, this is. A yeah, I actually think it might might be, or they can be more risky and only have Merc bring one tie turner because that's one f popular thing in IVL is that there are not a lot of tie turners. As people rather bring kite heavy, so yep, only mercenary has tie turner and with free flywheel effects against nice. the dream witch. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. That is a, a twist, a twist compared to the last thing that we saw two flywheels only. In this one, the survivors are coming in with three flywheels, guys. So yep. the chance for getting hit by the Dream Witch is going to be harder. Yeah, and actually they had Psychologist, which is pretty smart because Psychologist just also counters Dream Witch same, like a similar way to Barmaid can tank an extra hit. But the thing is that Barmaid is like more uh, aggressive like more proactive while the psychologist is more reactive in terms of countering dream witch yes definitely it's kind of like the female version of the mercenary she can take two hits she can go rescue and body block she, she's definitely super versatile and with the wi-fi healing too she's awesome so it's definitely a, a major role here against the dream witch yeah so oh over here going to to bottom broken no one probably find find nan next as nan is one of Oh, never mind. It's going to be Ihua, but it seems that no, I don't think he, think Xiao Cheng will be chasing the Merc first. And oh, it's going to be Silver G or White Paper, as you said. White Paper and Nan are both new new survivors that only appeared this season, so it will be interesting to see these new players in 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 game here. Yeah, the priestess already setting up some portals there, setting up setting up her escape route or her kiting route. One of the best kiting areas here, which is graveyard. So we have to see how this priestess utilize this area. Already going out in the open to try to buy some extra time. Doesn't want to get too close in this area. And then Dream Witch with eyes on the prize going inside the church priestess. Yeah, because church priestess, we all know it's very strong. So, so Silver G is definitely going to want to kite around there. But oh! Seems like, see over there, there, 
the leech is gonna get him though, so yeah, gonna get first hit, but if there's one good thing is that they got rid of the leech fast, and oh, trying to Wi-Fi heal, but that's not going to work at all because, yep, Dreamwitch has, has her own main patroller waiting. Uh-oh. Mm. Oh, who early pallet down and now going to take the hit. That was so risky right there, trying yeah. to heal in front of the Dream Witch. And Xiao Chen is like, you cannot heal in front <laughs> of me. Uh-uh, that's not happening today. Yeah, Xiao, Xiao Chen was pretty aware. And to be fair, Silver G is, on, is like a new player and, and he sometimes performs well, but sometimes he would also make some pretty fatal mistakes. I mean, it's, it's just a pretty standard new player. New player, like, w cannot avoid making mistakes, so... <laughs> yeah, Yihua is over here, though, over here preparing to rescue those. As Yihua normally plays rescuer, if you don't know. Mm, yeah, Yihua is a very good rescuer. That's why he doesn't really get the MVP. Oh. Usually, the other MVP will be ZYJ or in before Apsi, <laughs> the one who oh. cuts longer. Yeah, that was a pretty good over there dodging, dodging ahead, and and because like Yihua rescued without damage, now Silver G can cut even longer because. Like, if you look at this, it's a near free Cypher Kai, and Silver Jay can still play around over there because both leeches are not near near him at all. Yeah, there's two leeches following him with using those portals to uh, kite away from the Cyphers and buying so much time also. Um, hasn't really used the flywheel yet, so we'll see how this he uses it. There's still three Cyphers remaining, Jong, though, so that is actually a lot of progress to be done. Now, only two. Yeah, because... Because like Xiao Cheng missing that swing is pretty deadly because this allowed Silver J to do rebound cancel. Oh! Oh, there goes the flywheel now and... Beautiful. Yep. But there's nowhere he can go but we can see that Silver J is pretty aware over there because he he always eats the, a leech away. This forces Xiao Cheng to leech him all over that. So now Xiao Cheng has no leeches to do field control. So actually Dofa survivors are doing very well this game comparing to the previous weeks as they keep on getting 4 k in this season a lot. Mm, yeah, yeah, they're getting a little bit more coordinated and steady and putting the nerves down. Especially for a competitive play, you need mm, a lot of... Oh, look, the Prospector coming here for the harassment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it will be hard to harass in front of a Dream Witch, though. So, yeah, Xiao Cheng's actually plan here is to, is to like, oh. deliver the Priestess at the last Cypher to force the Survivor to start a, a new one because Xiao Cheng is actually v has a very high game awareness over here, so... So the, he right, wants this chair no matter what. Yeah, <laughs> because the, at, at one point Xiao Cheng was the number one hunter in in this season too, and, and you don't get that for nothing. Mm hmm exactly. He has a huge game sense, and then you see he's forcing the survivors to stay away from the cypher, go to another one, and then forcing them to do two cyphers, uh, open another new cypher. Yeah, oh, going to go nan, nan, chase Nan instead, yeah. Like, it was pretty smart how Dreamwitch positioned the main body over there, so, so now at the... If now Dofa wants a free escape to reverse that, they have to they have to have two people to protect Silver G, which is exactly what's going to happen because now Nan is rushing a cipher and they have two people healing or, or like protecting Silver G here. Yeah, Silver G got two bodyguards right here. The prospector very close, trying to eat the patroller, but unable to eat it. Now just have to keep his back. Avoid that oh, hit. Oh, blank. there's this blink on the hand. Yeah, we'll definitely blink. We'll definitely blink. Oh. Uh oh, the blink Beautiful. goes down. Wait, wait, but but seems like they're trying to heal heal the priestess back up though. So let's see, can they do it? Like, Dofa wants this free escape. Oh, let's see, go ahead and oh my, it's already back up already. Oh my god! Wow, that was a super fast healing right there from the prospector. Yeah, priestess has a buff to allow to heal faster, and prospector also has a healing buff. So oh my gosh, it's like doctor. Yeah. The thing is that if if, if Xiao Cheng wants a tie, he'll have to first lift the the prospector up and then hit the priestess during this time before the prospector struggle free. Like that is that is what Xiao Cheng must do. But Silver Jade already ran far away, so now the survivors have no no like Xiao Cheng no choice but to chair chair ZYJ here. Yes, the priestess here is very dangerous. This map she got still one portal and a flywheel so it's gonna be very hard so now the mercenary likely was not injured so he can get another free rescue and now Xiao Chen feels forced to just go for the prospector yeah but primed already because like that move over there that forced that forced heal to instantly heal Silver G back up was very very good from the survivor's part also Silver G's rebound kill was good so now Xiao Cheng will have to go and keep will now have to like target one person but he cannot target Silver G just because 
the all the league he's already cleaned up the leech. And that psychology is going to get leech on while she's still. Oh, he's trying to rush the gate. It's almost done. Oh, fly wheel. Oh wait, wait. Wait, he, he got out and everyone else is going to escape at the other side. So it seems like this will be a four escape, Soy Milk. Wow, look at Doe 5. That is actually so cool because they were actually not... I mean, they really were very, very exciting match all the way with the priestess. We really thought the priestess would get farmed, but no, they just managed to take the priestess back to their side and then mind game shall turn until the end. Yeah, because here's the thing is that as I mentioned... As I mentioned, that their performance was not that good this season, as they they got 4 k a lot, a lot like in the earlier weeks, and it wasn't until, like, and this was also their first four escape in this season, in this season because this season they generally did not perform well. But just just a context is the last season when Upsy and Boba are still here, they were also pretty strong, strong as well. So it seems like this is more of a back to form game for Do Five this specific game. Yeah, back and forth, back and forth, guys. And this is the way that we can see how Dong Xuan and Xiao Chen play. The, the two super top hunters that are right now very popular in IVL. And this is the way it's done from the survivor side. See, it's also there's also a way of getting a four-man escape against a super, super OG Dream Witch. And this is how it's done. Yeah, because just one thing is the MRC is actually currently in a bit of a losing streak. Because, as I mentioned, is that they actually won won every game in the first leg in this season. But after after they won after they won their ninth game then, then they actually lost like five games in a row up till this point. So they're a bit of in a regressing form. So I do wonder if they can rebound from that. Mm-hmm, definitely. Without looking forward to that because Do5 actually overall, right, in the rank, like you said, it's not doing so well. Yeah, so we'll see right now. in the next matches whether they can go up, up, up and not miss this huge chance of going to IVL offlines. Alright, yeah. Yeah, alright, see I'll see you in the next part. See ya guys.